with rainy weather on the way, businesses and many people are again facing obstacles that come with it. Tori Apodaca shows us what people are doing to prepare for possible flooding during the winter months. Some showers in Sacramento Sunday. Nothing compared to the downpours and damage last winter's storms caused. Last year we had a window break in the rain because we live in a uh, hundred year old house. Paige Vartow says that's why this year she's doing things differently. I think that rain prep is something that we should be thinking about all year long, not something that we should be thinking about in the middle of a storm. Many midtown homes like Vartow's are elevated easing her fear of flooding, but preparation is still a priority. Last year was scary. We lost power um, for two whole days. She's been staying on top of cleaning her gutters to keep these leaves out, plus has sandbags and a generator. In downtown, I think the city almost wanted to be outside in this. I don't know why, but there's a lot of people here. The wet weather didn't stop holiday shoppers from supporting local small businesses at the world's worst expo. Kind of wraps up uh, all the hard work that we've done throughout the year, so it's really important. Vendors and customers came ready for the rain. Making sure we bring our canopies, our weights, just in case you know it gets a little rain, uh, windy. These wet roads and cloudy skies just a taste of what's to come this week. We don't really know whenever rain's going to start, so preparing for flooding early is really uh, the way to go. And we've been seeing rain here locally overnight, making our roads wet and dangerous.